When you go on a Disney cruise, most things are included in the base price, but not everything. So here's a rundown of everything that's not included in the base cost of a Disney cruise. The first thing that is not included in the base cost of a Disney cruise is alcoholic beverages. While most drinks on the Disney Cruise Line are free, either at self-serve locations throughout the ship or at restaurants, alcoholic beverages are not included in the base cost of a Disney cruise and are extra. Also, unlike most cruise lines, there is not an unlimited drinks package that you can purchase on the Disney Cruise Line. Disney is primarily a family cruise line, therefore they do not sell unlimited drinks packages. There are, however, packages that you can purchase to enjoy a set number of alcoholic beverages throughout the cruise at a discounted rate. But again, these are limited to only a set number of drinks, not unlimited. The next thing that is not included in the base cost of a Disney cruise is popcorn. Disney cruise ships have popcorn available for purchase on the outside of their theaters, both their movie theaters and the theaters where the Broadway-style musicals are performed. And this particular concession is not included in the base cost of a Disney cruise. If you want to enjoy popcorn during your trip, you do need to purchase it. My personal recommendation to save money on popcorn if you intend on enjoying popcorn on your Disney cruise would be to do one of two things. One is to purchase a popcorn bucket near the beginning of your cruise, as then you can get a discounted refill on popcorn throughout the entire rest of your cruise, similar to how popcorn works in the Disney parks. You pay for the bucket once, and then you get discounted refills throughout the entire rest of the cruise. Or, if you have a popcorn bucket from the Disney parks, typically they will allow you to refill it on the Disney Cruise Line, which can definitely be a money saver if you already have a popcorn bucket that you are willing to reuse on the Disney Cruise Line, and immediately start getting those discounted refills from the very start of your cruise. The next thing that is not included in the base cost of a Disney cruise is select sit-down restaurants. The vast majority of food on Disney cruise ships is included in the base cost of the cruise. And this includes the rotational sit-down dining locations that you are assigned to every night for dinner, as well as if you want to eat in one of those locations for any other meal they are open for. But every Disney cruise ship has a couple of sit-down formal upcharge dining locations. It is completely your choice if you want to eat at one of these, but if you do intend on eating at one of these, it is an additional cost. Which restaurants exactly are not included is different from ship to ship across the Disney Cruise Line, so be sure to look up exactly which restaurants are not included on your ship. However, if you are assigned to a sit-down restaurant for dinner, it is included. Connected to that, the fourth thing that is not included in the base cost of a Disney Cruise is select quick service dining locations. Disney Cruise ships all have different quick service grab-and-go style food locations throughout the ship, and most of these are included. However, each ship will have a couple of locations that are upcharge that you have to pay if you want to grab anything from. Typically, this is something alongside a sweet shop or bar snacks at one of the bars or lounges. If something is an upcharge, the price will be listed on the menu. Also worth noting is that while some quick service locations will have upcharges, sometimes not everything at these quick service locations is an upcharge. To provide just one example, let us look at the Vista Cafe on the Disney Fantasy. The Vista Cafe at the current moment offers upcharge coffees that you have to pay extra for. However, the bakery treats that are offered at the Vista Cafe are available to all guests on the Disney Cruise Line at no additional charge. It is always worth asking what is and is not an upcharge at these locations. As often, there will be something that is included in the cost of your cruise available at a location, even if not everything is. The next thing on a Disney cruise that is not included in the base cost of the cruise is photos. There are photographers all throughout Disney cruise ships that are always there and willing to take your photo. These photographers are available throughout the entirety of the ship and in select port locations, especially if you visit Disney's Castaway Key. And they are found everywhere from the restaurants to specific photo locations to Disney characters and more. And while it does not cost money to have your photo taken, it does cost money if you want that photo in any form, be it printed or downloaded. There are packages that you can purchase in order to get your photos from a Disney cruise. Personally, my recommendation is whenever you go to one of these locations, have one of the Disney cruise cast members take your photo with your own personal phone or camera. They are more than willing to. All you have to do is ask, and then you have these photos and do not have to pay the high prices for the Disney photos themselves. This is especially true if you intend on meeting a lot of Disney characters on a ship, as you will be getting a lot of photos, and the price of those photos 
goes up fast. Again, just be willing to ask Disney Cruise cast members, and they are more than willing to take photos with your own device. In addition, of course, to the Disney Cruise photographer. The next thing that is not included in the base cost of a Disney Cruise is room service tipping. While room service is included in the base cost of a Disney Cruise, you can have anything delivered to your room for food that you want. What is not included is the tipping on room service orders. So be sure to keep that in mind, that when you are ordering room service, you have to account for the fact that you need to tip the people bringing it to your room. The seventh thing that is not included in the base cost of a Disney cruise is any spa services that you might want on the ship. Now, there will be time on any Disney cruise that you can tour the spa facilities of the ship for free without paying for any service. The eighth thing that is not included in the base cost of a Disney cruise is internet service. This is typical across cruise lines that internet is not included in the base cost of a cruise. There are various internet packages that you can purchase to use during your Disney cruise. The exact price of which, depending on the ship, how fast you want your internet service to be, and what exactly you want to be able to do. There are different packages for just internet surfing, for social media, and for more intense internet usage. But do be aware, internet at sea can be spotty. So even if you purchase one of these internet services, it does not necessarily guarantee your ability to connect back to land in a meaningful way. It can, but once again, recognize that internet at sea is always going to be spotty, sometimes more than others. However, it is important to mention that as long as you connect to the ship's Wi-Fi, the Disney Cruise Line app does work without paying for Wi-Fi. And there is a built-in feature within the Disney Cruise Line app that you can text other people on board the ship. The ninth thing that is not included in the base cost of a Disney cruise are excursions. While it is free to get off the ship at any port of call and explore on your own, if you want to go on an excursion that is organized by Disney itself, that is an upcharge. The exact cost of different excursions varies. The exact excursions offered varies based on what port you are at. And excursions can be booked either before the cruise or while you are on the ship. And finally, the last thing that is not included in the base cost of a Disney cruise is select childcare, meaning childcare for children who are age six months to three years old. Disney has childcare for all kids ages three to 18 that is included in the base cost of a Disney cruise, with there being different locations to send your child based on their age level on each ship. And for children three and up, that childcare is included. Included during normal operating hours for all guests on the Disney Cruise Line. However, if your child is age six months to three years old or on select sailings age one to three, you will need to pay for childcare if you are going to need it on a Disney cruise, as those children will be sent to a nursery, not one of the ship's childcare play facilities. This also notably does need to be booked in advance and can fill up as it is available on a first-come, first-serve reservation basis. Once again, almost everything is included in the base cost of a Disney cruise, but there are certain things that are not included in the base cost of a Disney cruise, so it is worth being aware of them before you set sail. 